One of the most contentious fights in recent Memphis history is now over. Two Confederate statues at the center of controversy for decades. Well, they're now out of Shelby County. Yeah, the sons of Confederate veterans and the family of Nathan Bedford Forrest now have possession of the Forrest statue. It, along with the Jefferson Davis Monument, will never be erected in Shelby County again. Part of the deal, but the controversy isn't over yet. The remains of General Forrest and his wife are still in the park where the Forrest statue once stood. Local 24 News Senior Investigator Jenny DePrizio has details all new at 6. Jenny? Yeah, you know, the monuments were turned over as part of a legal settlement. The Sons of Confederate Veterans sued the city of Memphis and the group that now owns the park, Memphis Green Space, hoping they would be returned. That lawsuit is now over. I'm glad we were able to uh, get these monuments out of Shelby County, and uh, our agreement is that these monuments can never come back to Shelby County ever again, either on public or private land. Van Turner with Memphis Green Space says he's glad the lawsuit is settled and the Confederate statues won't return to Shelby County. This was the scene two years ago this Friday when the Nathan Bedford Forest and Jefferson Davis statues were taken down. After years of debate, it happened quickly and without notice to the public. The city using a legal loophole selling two parks to a nonprofit group called Memphis Green Space, which immediately removed the statues and had them taken to a secure location. Location. While this lawsuit is over, there's another lawsuit pending regarding what to do with Forrest's remains. He and his wife are buried at the park. Memphis Green Space would like to have them removed from the park and moved to Elmwood Cemetery, where Forrest was originally buried. He said in his will, bury me in Elmwood Cemetery with my wife. If you go to Elmwood Cemetery, there's a forest plot where all the Forrest family members, members are buried. You know, if we honor his last will and testament, I think we will be doing justice. Now, a member of the Sons of Confederate Veterans told me he's happy the lawsuit is now settled and that his group now has possession of the monuments. The plan is to re-erect the statues near but outside Shelby County for the public to see. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.